What's up guys, the Snowman here, and today's video I'm going to be explaining how Major League Soccer, how the MLS is set up, talk about its format, its schedule, the teams in it. Uh, I've gone over other football leagues like the English Premier League, the Champions League, or the FA Cup, but the MLS is uh, kind of one of the more unique soccer leagues in the world, so some of these concepts may be a little bit more unfamiliar. Let's dive into the intricacies now of the MLS. So what is the MLS? It's a men's professional soccer league run by the United States Soccer Federation which represents the highest level of soccer in the United States and Canada. A relatively young league, the MLS founded in 1993. The inaugural season took place in 1996. Number of teams in 2020, it's currently comprised of 26 teams. However, that number will be 30 by 2023 as the MLS already has this next batch of expansion franchises. This is a map of all the different clubs throughout the US and Canada. 12 teams in the Western Conference, 14 in the East. You can see those three Canadian teams as well. Schedule MLS season typically begins in late February or early March and ends in November. That contrasts with most other football leagues around the world that run from August to the following May, more like a school year. And two other major differences between the MLS and the rest of soccer or football leagues across the globe. Number one, a champion determined through a playoff system, not just a regular season table, more on the format in a sec. And number two, no promotion or relegation system. So teams are not transferred between multiple divisions from year to year based on their performance. Once a club is in the MLS, it's in there for good unless the franchise folds. No relegation system, but there are still different levels. This is how the United States Soccer League system is organized. The MLS is at the top, the highest level of the American Soccer Pyramid. Then below in Division 2, you have the USL Championship, followed by a pair of Division 3 leagues, USL League 1 and the National Independent Soccer Association. All these leagues and their standards are set by the USSF, or the United States Soccer Federation, so they're all somewhat in intertwined. However, again, in the U.S., no promotion or relegation. The different teams are not transferring from league to league each season. And moving on to the MLS format now, three main trophies being fought for each year by MLS clubs. The first is the Supporters' Shield. The second and perhaps most important is the MLS Cup. And we also have the U.S. Open Cup. So how do teams win these trophies? Well, starting in late February, early March, every team plays a schedule of 34 games. The regular season lasts until mid-October. So I spoke before about how the clubs are divided geographically into a Western and Eastern Conference. The majority of games a team plays in the regular season are against teams from the same conference. Each game, a team collects a win, draw, or loss. Wins equal three points, draws are one, and losses zero points. That's just like every other soccer tournament or league around the world. At the end of the 34 game regular season, the team with the highest point total is awarded the supporter shield as well as home field advantage throughout the playoffs. As for those playoffs, the top seven teams in the West and top seven teams in the East qualify for the postseason knockout tournament to decide the MLS Cup winner. Here's a look at the bracket from 2019. The top seed in each conference gets a first round bye. All matchups then are single leg ties with the better seed hosting at their own stadium. That includes the final and we do this until the Eastern Conference final finals champ and Western champ meet in the final. The winner of that 90 minute match or potentially longer as all these playoff games can go to extra time and or penalties. The winner though is the MLS Cup champion. I also mentioned the US Open Cup. That is a single elimination knockout tournament that takes place throughout the year. Kind of on the side, it's another trophy up for grabs, but not only do MLS teams compete in the US Open Cup, it's also fought for by teams in those other divisions and leagues from the American soccer pyramid that we went over before. So teams from the USL Championship and League One also clubs from the NISA and a bevy of amateur teams as well. We have random draws to determine who plays who each round and all U.S. Open Cup matches are 90-minute single-leg games with stoppage time if necessary until a champion is crowned in September. One other quick note, the U.S. Open Cup champ and the MLS Cup winner also qualify for the continental competition that is the CONCACAF Champions League. That's an annual continental club football tournament for the top teams in North America, Central America, and the Caribbean. Pretty similar to the UEFA for Champions League, which I have also done a video about. For CONCACAF, though, a 16-team single elimination competition, so a bit smaller than the version in Europe. The United States receives four berths in the following season's Champions League, so uh, this is just another trophy that MLS teams have the ability to win as well. All right, that about covers the nuts and bolts of the MLS. It's uh, definitely not the best or most prestigious football league in the world. I'd say there's at least 15 leagues that have more competitive play. However, uh, hopefully uh, soccer continues to grow here here in the United States. And thank you so much for watching. If, if you want more soccer football content, please subscribe to the Snowman Sports Media. I'll be back real soon. Thanks a lot. Cheers.